Good morning, fellow mathematicians. Welcome back to Papa Fermi's Earth and Calendar. Hell yeah, it's that time of year again. 24, hopefully, 24 videos in a row, ranging from I don't know to I don't know minutes. Just something. A lot of videos from each and every part of mathematics and whatsoever. Hope you are going to enjoy it. Playlist down there in the description. Advent Calendar 2024. Today we are going to derive in the first video of the Advent Calendar my most favorite trick formula, namely the one for the tangent, the addition of angles. Why is it my most favorite one? Well, because it has a lot of cool applications in analytical geometry. So I hope you are going to enjoy it as much as I do. And now we are going to dive right in. So first thing we do is just write shit out. So this right here is the tangent of, and I'm going, going to say x plus y. Okay, so um, how can you proceed from here? Well, obviously this right here is by the definition of the tangent, nothing other than the sine of x plus y divided by the cosine of x plus y. And now what we're going to simply do is we're going to make use of the addition formula for the sine and the cosine. And then we're going to substitute everything in and see if we can get a nice expression. I'll spoil alert, obviously it's going to be a nice expression. Otherwise I wouldn't make the video. Now, just as a little reminder, how can you derive the sine and cosine addition formula? Well, by using Daddy Euler. Namely, this right here is the same as e to the i times x plus y. And by definition, that's the same as the, the cosine of x plus y plus i times the sine of x plus y by the definition of de Moivre's formula um, or Euler's formula in general. Now, also by the functional um, equation of the exponential function, that's the same as saying this is e to the i x times e to the i y. I hope you can see that this right here is true. So we can also multiply the cosine of x plus i times the sine of x with the cosine of y plus i times the sine of y. And now by multiplying everything out, what are we going to get? We are going to get cosine x times cosine y. And then for the next part, in the real part, I'm going to differentiate between the, the real and imaginary part. If we multiply the imaginary parts together, i times i is going to give us negative 1 by definition of i squared. So we are going to get negative um, sine of x times sine of y. And next up, we are going to get the imaginary part plus i times. And now we are going to get cosine of x times sine of y. And then we are going to get sine of x times the cosine of y. So plus um, sine of x times the cosine of y. So this right here was just a quick refresher. And now by comparing the real and imaginary parts, we get that the cosine of x plus y is the same as the cosine of x times the cosine of y minus the sine of x times the sine of y and vice versa, the sine of x plus y is cosine of x times sine of y plus sine of x times the cosine of y. And now we can plug everything in and see if we can actually simplify something. So this right here is the same as the cosine of x times the sine of y plus the sine of x um, times the cosine of y divided by overall this beast right here, cosine of x times the cosine of y. And then we are going to get um, minus the sine of x uh, times the sine of y. Okay. And now we are just going to play around with this expression a little bit. And you are going to notice something. If we were to factor out the cosine of x times the cosine of y on the denominator, what you are going to notice is that we are going to get 1 minus sine of x times sine of y divided by the cosine of x cosine of y. So if we were to factor this out, and I'm going to put it here, we are going to get 1 minus, and this part right here, divided by the cosine of x times the cosine of y. And now if we just break up this fraction, you are going to notice, hey, that's, that's pretty good. We are going to get the tension of x here, and this is the tension of y. So we can actually rewrite this as being um, the 
I'm going to start with the denominator here. It's going to give us 1 minus the tangent of x times the tangent of y. And now we also have 1 over this factor that we just factored out. Why not just distribute it into everything on the numerator over here? So what we are going to get is we are going to get on the one hand the cosine of x times the sine of y divided by this part that we just factored out. So the cosine of x times the cosine of y. And also we are going to get plus the sine of x times the cosine of y divided by the cosine of x times the cosine of y. And this is just absolutely beautiful. And this is why I like the derivation of this specific formula because everything turns into tangents. This and that is going to die in Mexico. This and that is going to die in Mexico. We are going to get the tangent of y and then we are going to get the tangent of x over here. So overall this addition formula is going to turn into the tangent of x plus y is the same as the, and I'm going to just switch all around, namely this right here is the tangent of x plus the tangent of y divided by 1 minus the tangent of x times the tangent of y. That's right here is the addition formula. And one specific example of the application of this formula is going to be presented in tomorrow's video when we talk about the intersection angle of two linear functions. And this is very much interesting. And I hope you did enjoy what you have seen today. Very short video with just a simple derivation. And don't forget to tune in for the next 23, hopefully 23 videos here in the, on the Advent Calendar 2024. And I'm in the next video. I wish you guys a fabulous day. See ya.